Andrew, thank you for joining me today. Can you give us a little bit of a background? Like a lot of people in the US would know who you are, but some of my other audience here in Australia wouldn't know who Andrew McNeil is. And I know he's been around for a while. Oh gosh, well, I, I don't know. I, a lot of people even in the US know me. Um, so I, I, work, I work for Seven Cups Chinese Tea. Uh, it's a company that was founded by Austin and Ju Ping Hodge. And um, they're, I, I think, the way I think of the industry here in the United States, they're in um, sort of this early wave of, of uh, entrepreneurs. A lot of them uh, are mom and pops, husband and wife operations. They're, of course, no exception that have gotten into um, the niche of, of, of specialty tea. Uh, in, in their case, they saw that there was a need for um, high end Chinese teas uh, in the United States. And so they built seven cups. Uh, as, as a way to, to bring that tea in and, and promote that tea culture in the U.S. And so um, wh what I do is I, I work for that company, Seven Cups. Um, I've been with them for, uh, let's see, 12 years. And uh, it's... Uh, it's a while. It's, it's a while, sure. Yeah, it was formative time for me as well. Um, and uh, uh, so, it, um, it, you know, in that time too, I've, I've seen other kind of uh, younger professionals sort of people who were employed by those early mom and pops that have grown the business. Um, so I'm in, I'm in that group uh, in perhaps the, you know, the second wave or the, the, the second generation of, of um, specialty tea in the United States uh, yeah. as a, uh, as a salary man working for the, the, uh, um, the founders. But you've also like, you really learned your skill, didn't you, through starting at, in the warehouse almost wouldn't you or in the shop or yeah. how did you work your way through um actually in both locations in, in both i think in working in specialty tea both uh, understanding both facets of of the business um both you know sort of the sourcing uh logistics and um sort of more uh hard business side the office work uh and all that it takes to get tea uh from source to uh, the customer's hands uh, is, is important. And also, of course, the, the customer interfacing part, um, the, the brick and mortar tea shop that we have here at Seven Cups has been um, just a, a uh, enormous resource for us in just in terms of customer feedback and seeing how people interact with this this product, which back when yeah. Austin Jupin got started, that was Seven Cups uh, kicked off in 2002 so um, Chinese tea then uh, it was it was it was totally a, a um, an undeveloped market. It was it was totally a niche uh, thing, and we were, we were yeah. in Tucson, Arizona, which um, is is kind of like a, it's a you know it's not a first tier city in the United States. You know it's no. it's yeah it's it's kind of the the uh, what you think of when you think of a cow town. Uh, we've got a million people, but it's um. Uh, it's 115 degrees for a few months out of the year here, and it's not the first place you think of when you're selling Chinese tea. So, um, yeah. the uh, being having that that experience in the tea shop myself, and also generally for um, us as a company, has has been invaluable. Uh, just being able to to interface with 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 customers and, and sort of share the the learning experience with um, mm. the the, yeah. the consumer. And connecting those two ends of the of the supply chain, I think, is something that's that's really exciting and um, something very exciting that a really a small business is able to do. You know, if you if you're working in this business, you better be able to to, to talk about this tea. You better be able to have passionate feelings about it. Uh, otherwise, there's probably better businesses for you to be in that you know are not this one. <laughs>